Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of What Gaming and today we are doing another Scrap Mechanic how-to video. Today what we're going to show you is how to add a tow bar or a hitch system uh, if you want to connect a trailer and a vehicle that you drive in. As you can see on screen now we've got a trailer that we've made. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is connecting this to our exploring vehicle so we've got extra capacity when out and we are exploring. So first things first, the vehicle that going to start on start with is the vehicle that you drive so you need to take that and put it on a lift because if you don't put it on a lift then it's just going to cause problems later on down the line so we'll take the blocks of metal that we're going to use but you can use any blocks to suit your vehicle you need a three wide piece like that and what we're going to do straight off the bat is a two 90 degree bends either side of that and uh, we'll put two bearings one on the left, one on the right, and that allows the trailer to bounce up and down without sending your vehicle into complete orbit. Uh, we'll put a T-junction there now, and before we move on, we will use the welder to check that both the left piece and the right piece is connected to the vehicle. As you can see, when I highlight the vehicle, or any piece on here, it turns white, um, and the 90 degree bend is white, and the vehicle is white, which means they're both connected together. And the same for the left hand side. It doesn't matter about the bit in the middle, that's fine. It needs to be able to move up and down. So from there, we're going to come down with the 90 degree. Again, we're going to put a rivet or a underneath here, if I can click on it. There you go. Followed by another 90 degree piece, but this time it's going to be going the other way. Aha. Right, okay, so in the middle what we're going to do now is add a block and we're going to put some suspension in it doesn't matter which suspension you use you can use off-road suspension or you can use sports suspension and you can use higher level stuff or lower level stuff it doesn't matter uh, the aim of this is to make it so that you're not pulling some completely stiff and there's a little bit of leeway in there so once you just start pulling off and dragging it there's a bit of bounce in there rather than it, it creates less drag basically so this is all dependent on the heights and stuff. What we're going to do now is we're going to put a block on the end as well so we can continue building. Coming out of there, we will add another 90 degree bend. We will also add a, another rivet, followed by another 90 degree bend. And we'll put a block on the end there, which will make it so they can weld. This bit here now in here what we're going to do is add another suspension piece just to make sure there's no stiffness in there at all we'll put a block on the end of that and so now all we'll have to do is get rid of the lift and you'll see why it was important to put the lift on now drops down like that so what we're going to do is take this face of the tow bar Click on that, we'll weld it right to that piece there. So you need to make sure that this is level. See across the screen now, I've got it so that the height of this vehicle is level with that. If you don't have the same height, it's going to cause problems down the line. Get rid of that and you can see it's nice and level. The wheels aren't trying to be lifted off the ground so that when you do pull it, it will be a lot easier. So you can see quite there, it's quite nice. What we're going to do now is take it out for a test drive and show it works very conveniently we have decided that we built our base right by the crop field so as soon as I get out of there you better see nothing because it would be full of hay and crops we'll take it over here into the free air you can see straight away there's a lot of movement in it it, it, it handles quite nice it's got the bounce in it as you can see there which is the, uh, the up and down movement Right turn. Now there you go. You can go to the right. You see the tow bus isn't working quite well. It's bending left and right. It's, it allows both vehicles to move independently, rather than you turning the vehicle and dragging the tow bar with you. So that's today's guide on how to make a tow bar or hitch system. We hope you enjoyed it. And if there are any other guides you'd like to see, please leave a comment down below as I crash into the wall. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time.
thanks ever so much for watching guys and if you've enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below we've got plenty of content coming your way